I think globally people do understand the impact that 5G will have, you know, across the range of society's needs. And, you know, particularly in Asia, as, as Francella was speaking about, you weren't talking about Asia, but, you know, the application of technologies to all of society's needs, whether they're education or in Japan, uh, they have an aging population, and they are really looking at 5G in terms of elder health and, you know, in some of the telehealth issues that uh, Evan has mentioned. So, yes, I mean, 5G globally, it's not seen just as a way to get, you know, the rich city slickers, faster videos of, what was the movie this year? Avengers or whatever, you know, whatever kids are watching <laughs> this year, you know, th that's not where the emphasis is globally. It is... How do we address societal, you know, issues generally? And, you know, a lot of that is education, certainly, and, uh, and well, a range of issues. So it, it, it's not just the U.S. that is looking at 5G as a broad range of possible solutions to industry or, sorry, society's issues. Uh, it's definitely a global, global movement.